So now I'm ready to build a more complex dialogue page. This will be one where my player will have a choice of two different responses, and when my player clicks one of those responses, it will take them to the next dialogue page. So let's begin. I'm in my Stories tab, and I'm looking at my actors, my doggy and mom. And I clicked on this folder, and it showed me that I have one story point, one response that's set up for mom but I would like to create a new dialogue page. So I'm going to do that by moving my cursor over and clicking on this little pencil on the same line as mom. And when I do, it will bring up a box where I'm going to be able to add a new story point. Here's my first one, the page I already created, the mom setup page where she asks the player if he or she knows anything about that missing steak from the fridge. Now let's create a new story point. So I will click Add Response. And here again it will ask me about creating a new dialog page. And I'm going to click Update Actor. And that will create that dialog page for me. You see my, my, it's been saved and Create Dialog page now says New Dialog. So let's edit that new dialog so it says what I want it to say. I'll click on that pencil and here's my new dialog page. So I'm going to put in my um, my dialog mom boss moment. That will be what I call this page and of course the title or the name of my actor is Mom. And here's what Mom's going to say. She's going to say, Hi, honey, do you need something? Maybe I'll put in my quotation marks. You know I like my quotation marks. Now I want the player to have a choice here. This is the big moment. This is the moment where they might lie to Mom or they might tell the truth. So let's add in those player responses. Let's add in the first one. And the first one is going to be my lying choice. This is going to be where my player can say something that's not entirely truthful. No, not really. I just wanted a glass of water. That's my first choice. That's the first link that a player might click. And I'm going to click Add Response again so I can have another link. My other link is going to be my honest choice. And this will be if the student or if the player wants to say, well, I kind of found an injured dog. So now there are two responses on this page, but I need to link those responses to a new dialog page. Right now, when they click, it'll just close the window, and we don't want that. So I'm going to click on this arrow next to Close Window and notice it'll give me a choice to create a new dialog page. So let's do that here and watch what happens when I do it on my second link. I select Create New Dialog Page and look, it already saved those pages for me. Now let's go ahead and click Save here just so we're sure everything is saved. We don't want to lose any of our work now. And then let's come up to this first dialogue page. What do I want mom to say if my player says, um, I just wanted to get a glass of water? So let's click on this pencil so I can edit that dialogue page. Now this is the dialogue page that mom that will show what mom will say if my player lies. Not a good idea. That's what I think. Your story might be different. So here's what mom says. Mom is saying, oh, I wish you would have been honest. I saw the dog all along. We need to return it. And here the player can say, I'm sorry, mom. I should have told you. Let's put that in here. 
And now I will close Go Home. That means go to the to the cue pod. Okay. So let's save this. And then I'm going to go back to Stories because I need to go back and, and add in that other link, right? What happens if my player tells the truth and is honest? So let's click back on Stories. Let's click back on Mom and on this pencil. And now I'm going to edit the boss moment. I'm going to come here, click on this pencil to edit the boss moment. That's what we were just working on, remember? That's what I called it. So here comes my page and I see that I've created one that says mom lying choice but I need to create the dialogue page for what happens if my player tells the truth. So I'm going to do the very same thing. I'm going to click on that pencil. I'm going to call this mom honest choice and let's see what mom will say if my player chooses to tell the truth. Mom will say, I appreciate your honesty, and how about we get a new dog? That sounds like fun. And then my player can say, wow, really? I guess honesty really is the best policy. Because remember, that was my message. And so I want to make sure that that's part of what my player is learning. Again, I can close the window, go home, and save. Let's go back out now and see what this page looks like. I'm going to click on See Page, and here's what we just created. Hi, honey, do you need something? Here are my new choices. Which should I do? I don't know. I think I want a dog. I'm going to be honest. Well, actually, I found this injured dog, and I need water. I click on that link, and here's my new dialogue page. I appreciate your honesty and let's get a new dog. So you see it's that easy. That's how you can give your players a choice and create multiple links and a slightly more complex dialogue page. The next video we're going to talk about how to take these dialogue pages and put them in a timeline and that's going to help your story unfold in the way you'd like it to. So check out the timeline tracker video. That's the next one and we'll be ready for a player to start um, playing your story.